What is up everyone? It's Than from Tidal Gardens checking in from the land of the still living. So you may have noticed that it's the winter solstice that came and went, and there was no Mayan apocalypse. Man, those Mayans, they trolled us so hard. As if the snowy Ohio winters wasn't enough to make me want to go back to Mexico, all the talk of the Mayans kept it in front of my mind for weeks. Anyway, last year while I was in Mexico, I did my open water dive certification. So if you would like to see my dive video, click the annotation above. While it's not exactly the Mayan Riviera, we do have a consolation prize in that we have a tropical greenhouse with bright new corals to appreciate, so let's just think warm thoughts and get onto the corals here. I tend to like branching euphilias because they tend to grow faster and are easier to propagate compared to their wall-shaped cousins. So far these have not grown very fast, but I am optimistic. If there was a variety of coral that we purchased the most from fellow hobbyists, it's definitely SPS. Here is a bright orange Montipora setosa that we've purchased a number of times from local hobbyists. I wanted to show off this acanthophilia we got, but unfortunately, its true color was just not well captured by this camera. It's difficult to describe, but this coral has all the colors of the rainbow in it when you look at it under LEDs. It's got crazy yellow and orange highlights that come out the more you stare at it. Ganiopora, especially pink and red ones, are getting very popular, and luckily, the ones coming in from Australia seem to be about, I don't know, a million times more hardy than the varieties that we see from other geographies. Still, I warn people about their poor reputation, but, you know, these days, I don't really see them die any more than any other stony coral, which is great news considering how amazing they look. Cyanarina are awesome corals that fly under the radar to a large extent. For whatever reason, they're a very underrated coral. I don't know why, given the fact that they come in a wide assortment of colors, and they're one of the few corals that naturally have a translucent body when healthy. Oftentimes they have an internal glow that's a different color than the rest of the coral. Okay, that pretty much does it for the Mayan Apocalypse edition of Eye Candy. I hope you all enjoy the holidays. The question of the day is, what reef-related gifts did you receive from your loved ones or, let's be honest here, yourself? Fess up and post it in the comments below. Now that I've got Mexico in my mind, I'm off to plan a trip. Man, those mines are so smart. I didn't have any plans to go this year, but they knew I couldn't resist another vacation. Like, how did they know? Well played, Mayan tourist department. Well played.